Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm planning for the month ahead using my digital planner in Penly app on my Samsung Galaxy Tab. I filmed all of this in real time, so I hope you like this more casual style of video. I'm super excited today because I'm actually going to be using the portrait planner for the first time. If you've watched my other plan with me's, then you know I normally use the landscape planner because I'm used to using my tablet in this landscape orientation and also because it fits better in the camera frame. This is the planner that comes with Penly app and it is undated so you can reuse it every year. And I'm going to show you a quick trick. So the quickest way to fill in a new month is to use the lasso tool. So March begins on the Friday. So I'm just going to lasso all of these dates and then copy and paste it. And then you can just bring it down here. And then you can grab the rest of the dates and paste them in the right place. In March, we have a lot of traveling planned. So I'm going to add on a kind of a quote here using some custom font. So in the text tool, if you tap on this, you can import any custom fonts. And this one is called Kathin. This is one of my favorites. So I'm just going to write um, time to travel. And then let's make a copy of this and change the color. So you can tap into it and then change it to a different color. And I'm just going to overlay one over the other to make this shadow effect. The first weekend of March, we're flying back to the UK and I'm going to add in a sticker. So these are my everyday stickers and I have this flight sticker. So let's put it here. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this because we're flying back on the 11th. The second weekend, I'm going to use the shape tool to color block this because we're going to be spending time with Dan's family. So with the shapes tool, you can choose a fill color, which I'm going to keep this on transparent because I only want the outline of the box. And then let's just go with pink. And this is the opacity. So I'm just going to bring this down so it's kind of semi-transparent. And then you can tap on the square tool and then just draw, that's too thin. So let's make this wider. So I'm going to bring the thickness up to about 1.5 and hopefully that's better. And I'm just going to write Dan's family. As soon as we come back from the UK, we need to be apartment hunting. So I'm just going to add a sticker here for that. I'm cropping this bit off because I only want the house. We actually don't have very long to do this, so this period is going to be super busy for us. Later in that month, we are then flying to Japan. So I'm wanting to add a sticker for that. Because we're going to see the cherry blossoms, I was thinking about using this sticker here. And I'm doodling an outline on this flower just to make it look more like the other stickers on the page because everything else has this brown outline. I am hoping to post this plan with me video by this weekend if I manage to finish it in time. I have a medical appointment which I am really not looking forward to so I'm going to drop in a mood sticker and this is my new mood sticker pack that I made recently with just like different moods and expressions and it comes in different colors so I have the white version and then I have a second colored version like this so I'm just going to import that in and I'm going to go with this one. We're in Tokyo for about five days. So I'm using the highlighter to color block this on the calendar. And let's see, let's make it maybe a little bit smaller. And then I'm just going to select this and bring this behind that flower sticker. So I want to copy and paste this sticker. Now, if you just grab this sticker and you try to move it, you can see you start moving the individual parts of it. So what you can do is to use the lasso tool and select everything and then tap on this group icon. And this lets you just tap on it, but make sure you have group selected on under the lasso tool. And this lets you tap on it and then you can then copy the entire object. After Tokyo, we're moving on to Kyoto and I'm just going to write Kyoto on this one. If you've drawn something and you don't like the color or transparency, you can edit it. So use the lasso tool and then just tap on it and then tap on this color icon here. And now you can change the transparency and you can also change the color as well. 
So I'm just going to get a white color or you can also write in the hex code. I think that might be easier. So let's just do that instead. And then I'm going to save that white in this favorite slot here. We haven't gotten around to planning the Japan trip at the moment. So I don't exactly know what we're going to be doing on each of the days, but I do have a couple of things that like a couple of places that I do want to go. I think there was a couple of cat cafes or owl cafes that I thought looked really cute. I haven't got anything in this space here, so I want to decorate that a bit. And I have the sticker in mind from the spring pack. It's this one here, and I think this one is so pretty. And it's basically just a scallop edged decoration sticker, and you can just drag it out as far as you want it to go. I think this sticker looks perfect here and I love the little flower cutouts which is kind of fitting in with the other stickers on the page. Down in this note space here, I want to use this to add in some tracker stickers. So I have one in mind which is um, a habit tracker. So I'm going to add this habit tracker. And the way I mark these off is just with the highlighter. So once I've accomplished a particular day, I can just dot it on with the highlighter to mark it off. And then next to this, I want to add some other trackers. So I'm going to add this priorities tracker. Instead of priorities, I actually decided to make this intentions. So in the color palette, you can use this color dropper tool. And if you tap on it, you can tap on the background and then you get the exact color of that background. And then I'm just going to erase over that text and then i'm just going to use the font tool and write in intentions in here and the reason why i want to set intentions instead of goals is because i think intentions is more about the present moment rather than the goal being a specific outcome that you achieve in the future and my intention this month is to be relaxed and to feel at peace because I feel like with the traveling and trying to move apartments, it can be stressful. And my next intention is to have more fun. So this is something that I have been working on recently because I feel like when I'm trying to be productive and get through my to-do list, it's very easy to delay having fun and delay doing things just because I enjoy them. And I don't want to keep putting off feeling joy. And then I'm going to add some yellow trackers. So I'm going to add one that says currently reading and also currently playing. And this is just so I can keep a record of what I was doing this month that I have been enjoying. I started reading this book called Water for Elephants and the beginning is very interesting. So it has hooked me. I do want to do a separate video at some point about my reading journal. So this is the reading journal that I started when I picked up reading again recently. And I'm just going to add the new book that I started to this page as well. So for this page, I just look for an image of the book cover and you can just long press the image and drag it into um, onto your page. I track all the books that I have read or am reading and I also give it a rating and I can write a review. This bunny sticker is from my recent reading stickers pack that I have just released. So I've been working on this one for quite some time and I'm really happy that I finally finished it. And there's a mix of hand-drawn stickers, word stickers and there's also some trackers. So yeah, I hope to do a separate video on this reading journal at some point. And then in terms of games, I started playing Sims 4 again. I had a very crazy night the other night where all my animals ran away. I wasn't planning on decorating the spread anymore, but then I found this flower sticker that I thought might look good on the page. So it's this sticker here and it's semi-transparent. So you can kind of see the words underneath and I'm going to layer it at the back. So if you tap on this back button, you can see it's gradually being put behind all of the other objects. And then I'm going to copy and paste that and I'm going to crop it so that I only have part of this sticker because I don't need all of it. And I just need that to go on the end here to fill up the rest of the space. And once again, I'm going to move this one to the back so it's behind all of the handwriting and other stickers. 
So here's what the whole page looks like and I do really like the way this turned out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Check out my other videos and plan with me's in the meantime and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.